Okay, what's good everyone? Today we're doing something a bit different. Um, probably saw this Audi in the background of some other clips, but uh, this car has been sitting here since, I think, the middle of March, if not a bit later, but you can tell um, tires have gone flat. This one's all right, but the other three, oh, two, sorry, are not that good either, and the battery's dead. So I just got a new battery. Gonna get this thing on, pump up the tires, bring it out. And then, I'm gonna show you guys, the car's gonna get some nice new wheels. So hopefully, get this thing running, uh, get some wheels, get some stuff on the inside. I'll show you around, let's see how it goes. All right, got the new battery in. That wasn't actually as difficult as it was taking the old one out, but uh, got lights flashing. So let's see what happens. Okay, so I got the, got the lights off. All I had to do was put the key in, turn it back to accessory or on, and it kind of went away. So I got this little, I guess, tire pump, mini air compressor type thing. Kind of pump up all the tires and roll the car out. All right, car's been sitting a while. I don't know why this got stuck, but anyway, got it open. And here's the power for the tire compressor. Oh, this is nice. It has a pretty cool digital screen. All right, well, I'll see how this works. All right, got all the tires aired up properly. And honestly, this thing works really well. Like I got an Amazon, it was probably like maybe 50 bucks Canadian or something like that. And the only downside I would say is the part where you connect to your tire. I wish it was like a quick disconnect or something because while you're unscrewing it, you can lose a couple of PSI, but honestly, it's not that big of a deal. And another thing is it'll run about 15 minutes continuously before it overheats and you're supposed to turn it off which is also not a big deal if you're just occasionally filling up your tires. But uh, in my case, I had to run it quite a bit of time. I'm assuming it's just because of the oil leak. Um, gonna take it for a spin, make sure things are okay. Probably hit up my cousin, see how he's doing with his A3. And uh, tell you a bit about the car in a bit.
finally got the wheels on. So these are, uh, I believe they're 19 by nine and a half uh, BBS. They're either called CHRs or CHS, I forgot exactly, but um, 19 by nine and a half. Don't remember the offset, but I got five mil spacers in the front and these are 245, 35, 19 uh, Federal 595 SS tires. And the fitment is sick. Like, I sit a little bit lower on the back. I got a bunch of stuff I got to offload. Car is currently lowered on ST coilovers, and I don't think they're maxed out, but the car sits really low. It's honestly, perfect for a daily. I don't really scrape that much, but um, so ST coilovers got the BBS wheels. Uh, in the process of converting the dash to an Android Auto head unit, so I got it in there. I have to put the faceplate back on. Um, haven't fully assembled it because I'm also going to put a rear view camera in this car. And up front. They'd replace the grill with this uh, RS4 grill. And right now I'm about to put a tow hook license plate bracket up front so I don't get pulled over by having this up front because it's starting to get a little bit too serious in Toronto. Cool. All right, so that's uh, that's pretty much it for now. This car um, got the plate on, did the did the wheels. I think you're gonna see is me trying to fix up the head unit, get a reverse camera installed in the trunk, do some wiring. So I want it to power on, and uh, when the reverse lights turn on, so I'm gonna tap it into that and then test that out. Also, want to do some audio stuff, so. Uh, this head unit and the dash kit it came with, I should be able to tweak um, the speakers and the bass response. So I want to do that. I want to replace, so this car needs a little bit of love. Obviously it's super dirty in here. Um, Got to replace this armrest, this thing is just busted. And what do you guys think? Maybe should I wrap these, uh, these trim pieces black or carbon fiber or something? Let me know. So just parked up here with the wagon. Got the wheels on, got the BBS, and man, do they look good. And check out the sunset out here, here at oh, the rec center. But damn, she looks good. This car drives so well for a daily. It's like everything the BRZ isn't, and I kind of want to make it a little bit more crazy. So let me know, Audi gang, if you guys know anything about uh, what kind of test pipe or catless downpipe I should run kind of tuned to go with. I'm thinking the JHM three inch catless downpipe and a Unitronic or APR two and just to get the couple horsepower bump that it might give. So let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoy the Audi content and uh, see you guys later. Peace out.